perfect. Hey man, coming at you with a review for Gunjo no Magmel or Magmel the Blue Sea, however you want to put it. You know, just a brief synopsis. So, you know, one day in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, a random miracle occurred. A new continent appeared out of nowhere, and the continent was the home of new and mysterious plants, creatures, and minerals humanity had never seen and was excited as a new age of exploration began. So off start, I already went into it, you know, open minded, like, what is this? And just from the bits and pieces I saw, I got feels from two different animes and mangas I've actually seen in my lifetime. One being Hunter Hunter and the other being Toriko. I'll get to explaining how those kind of relate and interact a little bit later. But, you know, we get to seeing and introduced to our main character who we find out is a angler which is a type of position within Magmail. They don't really dive too deep into what Magmail is other than that it's the island, but at the same time, I get the feel that it's also a organization uh, in itself because they have you know, people who get licensed to become hunters, licensed who get to become adventurers, and then there's also other types of jobs or levels in the organization that people can become, but you don't hear too much about or gets referenced later that it could either be a fairy tale or something that's just like a made up pipe dream that no one ever actually sees. So we get introduced to Inyo, who is our main character. He's the angler, which I spoke of. And you also get to see his assistant, a blonde haired uh, younger girl who at the start, you know, she's just like secretarial to, you know, Inyo. And you don't see much else other than that. But there's this one point in the episode where she does this slight thing where she's assisting Inyo or getting ready to assist Inyo as he goes out after he's taken upon a, um, a request from a client to retrieve his brother, a sickly young lad who, you know, warmed your heart over with his story. But then uh, later you're just like, oh, man, like <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. You, 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 you'll see. You'll see. So Inyo's assistant, she does this little thing with her hands like it. No. No, not her hands, it's her eye. It subtly looks like sage infused Chidori. If you've ever watched Naruto, you know what I'm talking about. It looks like the black Chidori that Sasuke does once he's obtained, you know, the uh, Renin gun with the tomes inside of the eye. But, you know, aside that, that's like the weirdest thing you see just for the first bit. So as you get to Magmail finally on the island, you see all this different exotic life. And that's where it throws me into the mindset of Toriko because in Toriko, they had all these different plants and creatures and things, but not the exact same because Toriko was more centered around food and you know a new age of food and exploration. This is completely different. But this island in itself isn't just the easy island to be on. Like, it's dangerous. I mean, it's it's omega level mutant dangerous. The wildlife is crazy. The creatures on the island look weird. They, some of them look like bulls and birds and griffins. Others have ways to control humans and, you know, make them do stuff or set people up for the okie doke. You know, just <laughs> there was this one guy who was like walking around with looked like a, a cephalopod attached to his head just talking about like you know help me help me help me and then the little guy who uh Inyo's, you know his his a, his client is sitting there like yo can't we help him and he's like continue that way if you want to die you know what i'm saying he's like if you go that way you want to die and then Inyo picks up a rock throws it in that general direction and then out of nowhere you see these centipedes appear just a swarm of these large centipedes i say swarm but it was only technically three and he's just like oh you know that that's wild but inyo lets him know that isn't the most dangerous thing about this island he's like that's that's on the light side of what makes this island so dangerous so you know they continue forward he's like come 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 customer he's like let's, let's go this way just keep going and you know as they go but then you see inyo do something with his hand and you know you just you see the same little lightning that you saw from his assistant back at uh, his base appear around the creatures and around the guy because his, his client was basically like, can we do something to put him out of his misery or to make it painless? And he was like, no, but, you know, Inyo did something with his hand and he shredded everything to pieces. And the guy reluctantly had a smile on his face as we assume he was finally at peace. So getting closer to what I was telling you about earlier, that would have pulled at your heartstrings like it pulled at mine. So we hear this backstory regarding the young lad who 
Inyo was servicing his client about him wanting to come rescue his brother because his brother is a licensed explorer. Point on point, his parents and his brother went off back in the past to get to this island to go get this fruit because the young lad is very sickly. He's like a bubble person, innocence, but not within a bubble. He's just, he's, you know, at any point he could kick the bucket. He's very weak and frail, one of those type individuals. And this one particular fruit could possibly help save him. It's supposed to give you the strength of 10 and, you know, all these other different things that'll probably turn him around and make him a more cured individual. So that being the point, Inyo gets word from his assistant who's kind of using a little tiny robot is like her, his eye in the sky basically his eye in the sky to see stuff and she alerts him to some things that are going on like some creatures up ahead so Inyo steps away just just for a small second to take care of this you know he's also being paid reluctantly because the young lad's like I have life insurance once I kick the bucket you know boom as long as you can rescue my brother I mean the little kid cares so much about his brother and I mean, oh, just wait, to, just wait, just wait. It gets worse, man. So they get to the point where they're like, here comes the boom. You discover the brother. The brother shows up. He's like, oh, my God, you know, I'm, I'm glad I got to see my brother. You, you're seeing all this amazing stuff. And then the brother turns coat on his younger brother because they basically discover the fruit. But Inyo also told the young lad earlier that that particular fruit only blooms in a pile of corpses. This one particular fruit that can give you all this strength blooms in a pile of corpses. So I was already kind of like, yo, what the hell is this? Like, why is that so ominous the way he said it? And then as the younger brother's looking up because it hadn't fully bloomed yet, the big brother turns around guts him with a straight you know shaved bone and i'm just like yo that's so trash worst big brother of the year like hands down basura bro just nasty trash so you know inyo jumps in and he finally gets the he gets back to his client and he's like you know oh you know client customer customer he's trying to heal him up using the little black the black lightning stuff still don't know what the hell this is or what you know what it actually does but once that ensues, the young boy on with his last dying breath is still basically telling Inyo, please save my brother. I don't believe this is my brother. It has to be something controlling him like the individual earlier who was being controlled by the cephalopod and the centipedes. Like, you know, and then you see him with the last spark in his eyes running off into what his, seems to be his parents' arms. And come to find out, old boy killed his parents killed his his adventurer buddies who were with him prior because he set off a uh, second time after him and his parents first originally went to get the fruit for his younger brother and you know he was like giving all this stuff like you know oh he was gonna die anyway this that and the third what was the point i needed you know like one more body and he he, he let his brother have it he took his brother's life in order to attain his fruit he's like why give it to him when you know i can use it and get more life so I'm just like, yo, trash. And as he's sitting there, like, just laughing, Inyo comes out of nowhere with this. I'm talking about he put his fist straight through his face. I was like, yo, damn, I was not expecting that. You know, I was just like, whoa. And it was just like the, the blood, the gore, the graphics. Like, I like this in itself with the art style gave me that vibe I got from Megalobox. Like, it's, it's subtle, ain't too over the top it doesn't need to be over the top it's just right the amount of blood the amount of gore but these abilities though these abilities and then we get a flashback um sometime after the little fight in between once the brother's already eating the fruit and gets this random stupid power up i mean he kind of grows like double the size he gains a little bit more strength like he literally punched Inyo into a damn rock and Inyo just was unscathed so just like all right no issues here boom Inyo comes back out you know over the top and just like knocks his ass straight through the air and sends him flying through the trees but as he sends him flying through the trees he has a flashback of his younger brother asking he asked his younger brother what did you want to become you know when you actually got cured his brother told him he wanted to become a lector but originally when he asked uh, when no, when Inyo asked him what did he want to become, he said a, ro a Rokuta, a Rakuto, something similar to along the lines. Like I think it may have been something different with translation when I was watching it, but basically the same thing. These individuals have the ability to create uh, instantly. No, you know, just hands down, they can just create out of sheer will 
and that's exactly what you see in your dude when he finishes his brother off he made this you this humongous item just boom dropped it on him that was it and lo and behold that's exactly what was the darkest part of that island the darkest part of magmel is like that island brings out the evil and dark desires of individuals who are there greed and temptation will take you under man like overall episode one episode one was fire like i'm looking forward to seeing what episode two has to bring and i'll be back then y'all peace